So a while back, Hello Dope Toys on their live stream did a pretty awesome deal. I have a uh, that Morpheus sitting next to it. It's like blended in perfectly. So it's seven One, figures. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, seven. Seven, seven builder figure pieces, and then kingpin. I'd still do the whole thing for a hundred right now. If Fuck. somebody wants that whole wave for a hundred right now, that's seven figures for a hundred dollars. Figures that retail at twenty five dollars a piece. So you're essentially saving seventy five dollars off of retail. Hundo. Ship that shit out tomorrow. Holler at your boys. Shoot us a message. You're not going to find that on the site. Maybe, maybe I'll ship maybe, out tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe it's a possibility <laughs> that it might. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, you're looking for a deal right now. You want you want some some Ollie's Ross prices. That's about as good as we can do right now. Hundred bucks, seven figures. What's the build a figure? What's it fucking called? The Hydra Stomper. Hydra Stomper. Hydra Stomper build a figure. Hundred bucks, seven figures, right now. Message us on Instagram. So then I decided, why don't I take them up on? Now, this, keep in mind, I have not bought a full wave of Marvel Legends since Puff Adder. And before that, it had been a long, long time. Uh, I did end up buying the full wave of Age of Apocalypse because I wanted that uh, Colossus. But really, all of that was on clearance anyway, so I didn't really pay that much. This is also on clearance. And what I really wanted was the Hydra Stomper. So then I have all these other figures. So how do they measure up? Well, this is a Disney Plus wave. This is all about TV shows. And what I didn't realize until I got them in hand was that there are two from each TV show. Except for Agatha. is just the one. She's kind of standing on her own. So I decided, let's take a look at these and see what we got. So this is going to be a series. I'll wrap it up with the Hydra Stomper. I'll run it weekly, and the last week will be Hydra Stomper. Just something fun and different to do. So come with me. Let's take a look at the Hella Dope Disney Plus deal. Hey everyone, so today let's talk about, you know her, you love her, Yelena Belova, aka sort of Black Widow, not quite there. Alright, one of the aspects I did enjoy of the uh, Disney Plus Hawkeye series was Yelena Belova. She was rather entertaining, funny, charming, really enjoyed her, much more than many of the other figures including the main character himself. However... I look at this figure and I'm like, where did this come from? Because honestly, that face does not look like the Yelena I saw on TV. Nothing at all. And the outfit is serviceable, but not good. I, I keep thinking it should be better, and it's not. Her limbs seem a little too skinny to me. I mean, she looks like, I keep thinking I'm looking at a teenager. And it's not going to be believable that she's going to kick butt. I grant you the actress in question is very skinny. So, 
that does play a part, but, you know, she at least has a look to her that looks like she has some skill. The texture on the out, on her outfit is okay. Um, it could be better. And she, although she does have single jointed elbows, she does get good range with them, but she, she really needs double jointed. Now, her accessories. Okay, again, not many, because this is Hasbro. Let's face it, Hasbro's not giving out accessories. So that's just a simple fact of matter. Um, and <clears throat> she has two of the uh, extendable sticks. Um, I, I really don't know what I think they're called. Called extendable night sticks. I don't know. And don't care either. <laughs> but of course, one come pre bent, and that's lovely. And uh, grippy hands and fists. Not much going on there. Uh, the other thing I appreciate about the figure, though, is that her hair is tied up in the back so it does not impede her articulation. And that was a good move, and that's accurate to the show, for the most part. Once again, I'm not sure what's going on with this skin tone, but it, it's almost too pale. I mean, I thought about it. She's got a little bit more rosiness uh, to her face um, than this figure. I mean, this figure looks like it's been hiding in a basement for nine years. And the black lipstick does not help. And I think the black lipstick was a major step, major problem. You could have got away without it, uh, seriously. And then if they had done a little better on the skin tone, the face sculpt, and, um, you know, not that black lipstick, I think this could have subbed as a uh, comic book, Elena Below. But no, we're not going to do that. What bothers me is I see a lot of great potential in this figure. Also, when I got mine out of the box, I did not realize that the forearm on her, her left forearm, my, my uh, right, was backwards. And it was only when I noticed the yellow stripe, I went, oh wait, that's backwards. And I was able to twist it around. She's got those widow sting, sting things and yeah, okay, um, whatever. Um, she should have them, but you know, it's doesn't really add much to the figure, especially when you have so many problems with the figure. She, um, yeah. She's just got, you know, I mean, you can stand this figure in a crowd, though, and it'd just be a girl. Well, look, a girl's over there, and you would not stand, she doesn't stand out as Black Widow or Yelena Belova or anything. She's just kind of a girl in the background. Um, I mean, even the you know, even the black suit doesn't give her a whole lot to work with. And, I mean, what little highlights there are. I mean, yeah, it, it's a, it's very generic and bland. Some of that is the design, but some of it is the figure itself. Like, I think they could have gotten a little bit more done with this figure if they tried a little harder. This one was like just pumped it out and just, you know, threw it up in AutoCAD. Here, make a mold out of that. Boom, done. Let's move on to the next figure. And that's a shame because... I actually like Elena Flo. She's one of the few kind of newish characters that I'm kind of digging. Um, again, she's funny, she's charming, and enjoyable to watch. And she seems to have some layers to her, which is cool. You know, she was upset about um, about Haw Hawkeye having killed Black Widow. Well, he didn't necessarily kill her, but you know, you know what we're saying here. He let her die. So she was upset. She had some motivation. And I thought that was cool. Could it have been expanded and done a little bit more with? I, I think it could, and I think it still can. But at the same time, you know, this figure, I just think, could use a little more pizzazz. I think the Black Widow figures she had from the movie are a lot better than this one. So there's my kind of thoughts on this. I hate the crap on this figure, too, because it's like, I would like to have a really good Yelena Belova. Um, we got that one in the Pup Adder wave. I hated that. It was a design I didn't like, and I didn't. I, and it just didn't work for me. Um, this one, same way. I mean, you know, and I said that the one from Black Widow movie is better, but it's not good. I mean, it's not great. It's just kind of okay. So I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> you know, the media is kind of going down and people aren't interested in these waves anymore so it's like okay what are you going to do now 
that's a good question. What are you going to do now? But also, what are you going to do with action figures? I mean, let's face it. I mean, this is not working. Uh, this is my least favorite figure of the entire wave. Uh, I mean, I could argue another one is my least favorite, but that one has some redeeming qualities. And I'll get to that later. But this, this is a... Uh, this is not good. Okay, so that's the two from Hawkeye. They're okay. They're not great. Yelena's less than uh, Kingpin. Uh, I mean, at least Kingpin had some redeeming qualities, but, you know, he's not that great either. So, yeah, this is already looking bad. <laughs> you know, is this a bad wave? That's going to be the question. I don't want to answer it yet. I want to I wanna keep going. But that's where we are now. Uh, that's two down, several to go. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, take care.